Yep. All right. One more thing. Okay. Quiet down there. I have here a recommendation from the production director's HSE meeting. Place all our wooden-handled sledgehammers with hammers with synthetic shafts. People, let's get to work. Oh, fuck! These synthetic shafts. They get so slippery when you work with them. Idiotic. Damn it. Well, we'll just have to see when the new sledgehammers get here. <laughs> Do you guys need some help or thanks? Don't you want to make sure the sledgehammers are okay? Oh well, this one seems fine. It's in the right place after all. And we're short on time. Cut the temperature equalize. cause of the injury was that regulations had not been followed, and the hammer had not been repaired properly, causing the head to fall off, which then hit the worker's arm. But why did it happen? Could have avoided. Let a closer look at the underlying causes. Regulations had been given to replace all wooden-handled sledgehammers. It wasn't done. A recommendation after all. Recommendation. Is there a difference between a recommendation and an instruction? Highly conscious of how they communicate and document new safety routines. Instructions must be communicated clearly and directly. There should be no room for interpretation. As an employee, you may disagree with the instruction. It is important to follow procedures and instructions. So practice is no different from theory. Instructions had been clearer and the procedure followed. This injury could have been avoided. The safety wedge in the head of the sledgehammer had rusted, allowing for a makeshift repair job. So, since the safety wedge had not been replaced, the sledgehammer had not been repaired according to regulations. And instruments shall be checked both by the person returning the equipment and by the one receiving it. How does this happen where you work? Extremely important to notify about defective tools when you return them, so they can be repaired according to regulations. In this instance, the sledgehammer should never have been repaired. It should have been scrapped and replaced with a sledgehammer with a synthetic shaft. If that had happened, injury would have been avoided. I want to make sure the sledgehammers are okay. Oh well, this one seems fine. 
was in the right place after all, and was short on time. Get the temperature equalize. Actual inspection couldn't identify that the safety wedge had not been properly inserted, because the old wedge was still visible in the hammerhead. If the worker had made a closer inspection of the top of the sledgehammer, he would have seen that it was broken. A sledgehammer should have caused him to reflect over whether or not it was safe to use. You are checking the tools you use to see if they are in proper working order. for ensuring that the tool you are using is in order according to regulations and it is your responsibility to conduct running risk evaluations as you work. If the job had been better planned and the sledgehammer had been more thoroughly inspected this injury could have been avoided. Keep this kind of thing from happening again. Three important aspects. Management, providing clear instructions. Employees following up and living up to instructions and procedures. Always conduct running risk evaluations. It's important that everyone is involved in developing a culture where this natural we shall respect each other and understand that procedures and instructions are there to help us take care of each other. Speak out if someone asks you to do something you feel is unsafe. Speak out if someone is not following instructions. Speak out if someone is doing a job that you feel presents a risk.